Okay, what's up guys, Alec Mac 111 and last week's video actually went really well and so three of you actually guessed that I paid $1,100 ship for everything so I shipped three patches out to the people that guessed that correctly. Next week you guys will have another opportunity to do that but if you want patches individually I'm selling them either PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo for $11 a piece shipped. They cost me like two or three dollars a piece and it takes like two or three dollars to ship them so I make a little bit of money since Google ad revenue is trash on YouTube and I don't make anything from ad revenue so it helps if you guys buy patches just let me know. Without further ado, we are getting into the unboxing. Actually, last week when you guys saw anything, I was getting my new Glock. So while the video was going live, I was waiting in line. I picked this boy up. Um, this is only the second gun that I've ever owned, but I get people all the time that are like, oh my gosh, Alec Mac, why do you all have all these airsoft guns and spend money on this and do not have any real guns? I have two, I have this and my AR-15 pistol, so. There you go, haters. All right, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is mostly a high cap unboxing. I believe I do have a Polar Star over here, um, but I'm going to give you guys a build update real quick. So I ended up getting, for that pistol like two or three videos ago, I ended up getting a Airsoft Masterpiece Lower. So this is one of their metal lowers. It's like the R7 aluminum type grip or whatnot, but this thing is so gorgeous. So this is basically finishing up that first build that I had. Um, I went into more detailed parts list. I did buy an Airsoft Masterpiece Hop Up as well. But this is the kind of the build that I'm going with. But I did buy some other high cappers because I want to build some more of these pistols. And I might potentially think about building high cappers and then selling them. So you guys can kind of let me know how that works. All right, so first part of this unboxing, I'm going to kind of move a little bit of this stuff so you guys can kind of see a little bit more of me and the boxes as well. First thing we're unboxing is a 4.3 high capper. So this is for you guys that don't know, instead of a 5.1 is like the normal high capper, this is a 4.3. Basically, this just means that the barrel's a little bit shorter and the gun is a little bit shorter. So I found this build on eBay. Um, it's basically a pretty simple of 4.3 it does have some upgrades and stuff but it is so it's short stroke dang he really short stroke that boy this is like a short stroke to the max um it has some sort of hogue grip on here some pistol grip this is like for real guns it's actually really nice my dad actually had one of these on his m9 for a little while and then it looks like he's put some sort of fiber optic front sight on there i think this is like the aip it's not quite as nice as the a yourself masterpiece infinity one from this one but it does look pretty good and this is a nice little pistol it came with, uh, I'm actually not sure which base plates these are. I think these are like AIP or something. I'm not super familiar with the upgraded base plates, but it does have just kind of the basic upgrades. Um, high Kappas, if you guys don't know anything, you can do a few little upgrades. Like you can put some short stroke buffers here on this guide rod and upgrade some springs and stuff. And you're just gonna get the best possible stock pistol. And I guess technically it wouldn't be stock, but close to stock pistol or near stock pistol. These High Kappas, man, they shoot incredibly accurate. Accurate. Tokyo Marie just does a really good job on the hop up systems. But yeah, first one is the 4.3 High Kappa Airsoft pistol. I actually really like the black on this. That black on black everything. I think that's really nice. I know there's a little bit of silver here, but that is a pretty cool, clean build. All right, up next are two things I actually picked up from Evike. I needed some parts from Evike, and to get over the free $150 shipping, I was like, eh, I think these are actually pretty cool anyway. And so I was like, yo, I kind of wanted to pick one up. This is the Airsoft or AW Custom. Whoa, this is kind of cool. And now I know that AW Custom, like high kappa stuff, does not, it doesn't fit the best with TM, and they're not always compatible. I think some parts are and some parts aren't. But the hex pattern on this is actually really nice. To be honest, I don't even know which model this pistol it was, but I saw this and I was like, yo, that looks sweet. I think the hex pattern looks really good. I think AW Custom makes a really nice stock pistol. Um, I've not seen like prolonged performance tests, so I can't say that like with full certainty for you guys but from what i've heard and what i've seen and the few that i've had i've had a lot of the sai ones they are pretty darn nice and you even get the fiber optic green front and the fiber optic rear red and the silver barrel and you got the cutout on the slide and everything's like metal and, and high quality polymer for like i think this is like a hundred dollar pistol man honestly that is really nice you get the mag the enhanced magwell as well i don't like the thumb grooves on here that's one of the reasons i went with the gen 5 lock instead of the gen 4 i just am not a huge fan of it but this is a nice pistol man really really like it good it's got like a yellow jacket on the back there too that's actually kind of dope all right pistol number two from evike so i like I said, I was buying a bunch of high cap of parts. I actually bought an, a max hop up as well. I had somebody that got a max hop up unit, and apparently they're like the new best M4 hop up units now. Since the Pro Ends are kind of kind of inconsistent, from what I've heard, people are saying that Pro Ends had some quality control issues. I don't 100% know, but again, same thing here. I bought another pistol. Except this one is a mystery box grab bag on the pistol because I wanted to get over the $150 free shipping, and I didn't want to have to wait or pay for shipping. So this is a new pistol i don't know what it is it looks like it's aw custom i believe these are like the um like open box it looks everything looks 
really good at it, actually. Wow. AW Custom Tribe. So this is a, it looks like a single stack 1911 with some gorgeous, wow. The chrome looks really good on this. I think it's metal. I think all of it's metal, wow. So I paid like $100 for this, I believe. I think it was like $100 to put me over. And I love, and you guys know I love anything that's an e-bike mystery box or anything that's kind of related to that. Has all the stickers on it. Got some really cool trades in there as well. It looks like some sweet grooves up the front or the serrations on the front and back. Got some stars on there. I actually don't really like the feel of the grips on the pistol. I like that they're a little bit wider, but it just feels really cheap. I don't think it's real wood. I don't think there's any way for this price point that it's real wood, but it's also full metal as well. So AW Custom, ever, like I said, everything I've heard is pretty nice about them. I hear good reviews. I can hear that people like them. And the fact that you can get a full metal pistol that's a little bit higher quality than a WE for about the same price, I really like because I know WE has had some quality controls in the past. I've heard they've gotten better and I'm not sure about that. But from for the most part, I've heard not amazing things about WE. But so far for AW Custom, really like it. And there's two more pistols that really prove that they have high build quality. Up next in a little unboxing is the Max Hop Up. I went with the Christmas one. I thought this was sweet. There's actually a lot of different models. I believe this is the ME Pro, which is like good for Crytax. That's what I'm putting it in my Crytax build. I have a gold one in there now, but I'm thinking about moving to the Christmas color one just because I think it's dope. And then I bought, I actually had a one of the SAI 1911 AW Custom. Uh, it's like the 2000, or the, they're like the double stack 1911s. That's like the SAI pistols, the 2011s I think. And so I got one that had no mag release. It just wasn't there in a trade. And so I bought one for it. They just came back in stock. So these were the whole reasons that I bought it in the pistol mystery box. I was like, eh, might as well. All right, before we get to the last part of the high kappa, I believe this is a polar star. So I know this isn't like a high kappa completely unboxing, but I got this today in the mail and I figured why not unbox it on camera? There's some polar stars that I get that I don't unbox and I hear people are like, yo, that would have been sick in an unboxing. So here we are. I'm not exactly 100% sure which one this is, but I saw this on eBay. I was like, that's a pretty good price and it's a GMP. So, you know, you boys got to pull the trigger on it. But here she is. Wow, those grips actually feel awesome. So this is an M-Lock rail cover. This is basically, so it's a start, it's like a GMP M4 build. You guys know that I love GMPs. That's like one of my favorite builds. I have a sweet spot for that in my heart. The selector switch, he did say, it looks like it is not functional, but that's, that's okay with the speed triggers anyway. It's kind of hard. I'm guessing they just messed up the alignment in it. Um, I got this for a pretty good price, so I was pretty happy with it. I have no idea what brand the stock is, but this thing's actually really cool. It kind of like locks in there. It's got a nice rubber butt pad. I actually don't see any markings on that, so I do not know what brand it is. It looks like this is just a generic um, M-Lock rail system. Looks like it's just a basic hop up in there. That might be either the, I think it's the stock GMP one or the Lonex metal ones, not 100% sure basic little high cap there but dang that is a cool little rifle it looks like the special forces suppressor i think these are gmp if i'm not 100 percent i'm not 100 correct but this is a little dude that's a nice trigicon mro repro so up top there's a trigicon mro repro i actually just sold my last one but i think these look really good i had like a forward mount and i am selling it because i'm not 100 percent sure what red dot i want to run on my gun i was thinking the trigicon srs repro and I've just kind of gone back and forth. So I actually have no optic on my Polar Star build right now, but maybe I'll throw this bad boy on there. It also came, there's the FCU, and then it came with a battery. And then I love when I can buy whole setups. Like this guy is included, he included a tank. So this is a 13 3000. Uh, this is just the basic amped SLP line. I don't think either of these are SLP tanks either. So, oh, this one. So there's one SLP tank. This one you technically should not use. Uh, maybe this, maybe the 13, 3000s are low enough pressure that they can run with um, SLPs, but I'm not sure. The SLP regulator is basically for, there's like, it's called super low pressure. And so if you have a tank that is non SLP and you use it in an SLP regulator, like these ant ones are, you will damage it. So just be careful. Looks like he included a blue nozzle as well. That means that there is a red nozzle in this. So he put a red nozzle in a CQB build. Okay. All right, now the sweetest high kappa of the unboxing. So I'm gonna kind of try and take this stuff out so you guys can actually see my face. Not that any of you care that much because it's not necessary. Uh, okay, so he's got a, oh, it might have just been for the spacing or anything. All right, let me take this out. Here we go. So this looks like this, I basically, I saw this, uh, this guy was selling and I was like, man, I just, I love high kappas and I would love to get some builds and then be able to build kind of what you guys want specification wise, like order parts, have you guys pay me like 50 bucks and assemble everything um, and test it, make sure everything's working really well. I think that's something that I would be into. Let me know, you guys gotta let me know if you would be into that. 
But here is the build list. I am not sure who has done this build list. If you guys recognize that, um, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's a Tokyo Murray 5.1 regular edge uh, aqua slide. The um, it's the Airsoft Masterpiece e e edge slides. The AFE lightweight blowback unit, garter losing nozzle, UAC, 125% spring. Airsoft Masterpiece brass hop up. Is that the really nice one that I just got? I'm not sure. Uh, nine ball, yada, yada, yada. You guys will see it in a minute. There's a, basically a lot of upgrades in this pistol though. So let us get to it. This man wasted the wrap. You know the wrap you use for like uh, sports stuff? For those of you that are athletes, they use, I'm not exactly sure what they call this wrap, but he wrapped the whole case in this. I think it's, I think it's ace wrap, but I mean, I guess it did the job. So here is the pistol. I'm gonna keep you guys not waiting anymore. This actually came with two uppers as well though. So it did come, oh my gosh. I get on some of you guys for your crappy packaging. This man, good job, bro. You did good. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys do a really good job of packing and some of you guys suck. So there's like a balance. I don't think you need to ace wrap your airsoft pistol, just personal opinion, but here it is. So this is a pretty simple um, 5.1 pistol. It's not like insanely upgraded. It's not like th this upper kind, I'll show you a little bit more, but um, it's just like a basic, really nice pistol. So he's actually got some 3D printed Compensators in there, in there as well. So I have not used these or seen these before, but they look really cool. All right, now the Alec Mac 101 has got this boy assembled. So this is the metal slide. I believe this is one of the Airsoft Masterpiece ones. I'm not exactly sure what model this one is or what this is considered. I really like the serrations on the front as well as the cutouts on the side. I think that looks really cool. It's kind of like, I'll show you in the close ups, but it's like a V pattern, if that makes sense. And so it actually grips really well for if you're kind of gonna. Do, I mean, pressure checks aren't necessary in airsoft, but it's kind of cool to be able to pull it back from there. Depends on how you want to pull the pistol back, whatever. Um, it actually came with the stock hop-up. So this is like the stock hop-up, stock upper, everything, the barrel. I believe this is all TM. And so I will probably put this on my other pistol. I have a 4.3 that has just been not very good. And so I'm going to probably put this upper on it or at least change out the parts in this, except for maybe the barrel. But I think it's the blow, something with the blowback unit and the nozzle is just not working very well. Oh, that looks really good. Dude, this magwell is so aggressive. That thing is maybe the biggest magwell I have ever seen on an airsoft pistol. You can see how like big that is. It's super wide and it's really kind of stabby in the front. Not like super much, but I mean, that would not feel good if you like came around the corner or like hit yourself with it or something. I'm trying to think of a way, but man, that is a massive mag. Well, I actually really like the simple job on here. It's a basic job. It's not like they made a really good pattern, but it does look pretty good on it. They were nice enough to include all the parts as well. So these are like the bags. I like to have these bags and stuff just so I know kind of what's in the gun specifically. I keep it and when I sell people my guns, I'll do the same thing just because I think it's helpful to like have it. it keeps everything in your mind. That paper, this piece of paper is actually super helpful for that as well. So these are all stock parts. It looks like these are all stock parts. Yeah, so these are all the stock parts, but it looks like he included a speed loader and then there are more magazines. Alrighty, so it looks like he sent me three total TM mags. That's always awesome. He actually kept most of them loaded. I really like the way the stainless magazines look in pistols, to be honest. That's just personal opinion. I think they're my favorite um, and I really like them. But thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 101. Hopefully, you guys like high cracker unboxings. I've been told that you guys really like them. Um, next week, I'm going to do a giant unboxing. A guy from California has sent me his entire collection, and it's like three times the size of the one I did last week. So it's about to be wild. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Start enjoying your summer, man. Coronavirus is slowly coming to an end. Hopefully I'll get out and play soon so I can get you guys gameplay footage. But until then, unboxing time it is. All right, ready, Rob? It's still rolling, dude. Why did you keep... You said to keep it rolling. <laughs> Not when I'm inside. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>